Okay, what's up, everyone? We're gonna do another Zerg vs. Zerg because these are so much fun. And. So it's blue versus red. I am. That's T. Cool. That's a cool name, I guess. If you like. Because I guess it, that drink's pretty good. And versus Promise. I don't know what he promises, but. I don't know. Well, why does he get the rally point over here? It must be some kind of mis. I don't know. Because he's gotta make, um. Oh! Maybe he should, um. Getting the scout there fa as fast as possible. I don't know. Well, he probably made a mistake. Okay, anyway. So, anyway, um. Red did a little trick. And let's see if it makes him any more money. We get 11 out of 10. You can't sell it. One of these. You can't sell an extract and you get 11 out of 10. I don't know if you're supposed to do a 12 out of 10. I don't know if that's wrong. He probably uh, made did a he probably uh, made two and just canceled one and then had ten and then made eleven out of ten. That's probably what he did. Oh, look at his money. Oh, but he's got only eleven and this guy has fourteen. So the fast extractor just put him behind a little bit. But I don't know if that eleven that twelve out of ten thing works. But eleven out of ten is supposed to work. The eleven out of ten trick and this is a trick where you cancel the extractor so you could have more than your um. More than your than your um what's his number to write the uh, the denominator with your supply block so I don't know so it looks like the money's about evened out but red player has more money but does he have an extractor yes oh he's about to make one now red has more so yeah it's about even it's about even overall but it extracted and put him back too high. Behind too much, but for what I read a manual, it said um, our strategy manual. It said I'm um, scouting with the um, scouting with the um worker isn't a good idea with a drone. But none of them is scouting with the drone. I thought they were gunner, but no, nah, it was just overlords. And by the way, scouting with overlord dangerous too because your queen's gonna kill him. By the time he gets it, the queen's gonna be out, or even before he gets there, depending on how big map. Okay, here comes a letter. Ziggler is about. One, two, three, I don't know, six, I don't know, something like that. Okay, let's see how many workers they could get. The workers could beat them, but they're gonna lose a pipe. They're gonna lose a bunch of stuff. Oh, here comes Red Zerglin. If he didn't have the Zerglin, he would have been screwed. He would have like maybe half of it. Okay, so Red's chasing him back. He's like, get out of here. Now nah, he's on the offensive. And now if you chase him all the way back to his base, you could just go right in with these five. But these five Zergs learn. Zerglings are aren't I'm gonna kill him. That's what I do. I do the same thing actually that this guy's doing. I make him here by the time I get a ladder, then I transform into our overseer, and then I start crapping out um spies. Whatever they're called, infested terror they're not infested. Whatever the spies are called, I forget. So it overlords about them meat. And this these five on two right here, obviously you get back to his base reinforcements. It's about to spawn some creep. Oh, the queen, the queen, the queen is getting them. Oh, shoot. Better get the hell out of there. Queens are... Look how they're the same exact speed, and so they can't hurt each other. <laughs> as soon as he shoots a draw, I mean, it shoots out. What am I thinking? As soon as he attacks a draw, he's going to die. Because as soon as he shoots... He, sorry, I keep saying shoot because I'm so used to other RTS games. But I'm just, my freaking brain's going numb right now. He's so used to, um... He's just running around. By the time he, sh he um... We got. By the time he attacks this, he's gonna slow down, and then the other Zerglings are gonna get him. Bites or whatever. I'm not used to a game where they bite each other. I'm just used to games where they shoot each other. Alright, uh, so these are RTS game or strategy game where you bite instead of shooting. It's different to me. In some games, you throw stones, like in the old. I don't know, like in the 1800 games. I don't know. It's like games where you just fight with swords and you throw stones if you don't have a sword and I don't know. So, oh, Zerglings, like, I'm just gonna sit here and wait for either a drone to come out or wait for a reinforcement. It's one or the other. 
And overload is all over the map. I mean, yeah, there's many Cobra Hydras, but you can you know, right to kill one, two, three, three, and that'll supply block. I'm not to hurt him, man. Oh, this drone's about to die. Right? Oh, not about to die. Never mind. He's like, oh, wait a minute. The queen will kill him. Yeah, don't do that thing because he's gonna have such more health. The queen will kill him. If you could catch him first. Spawn and creep down the slope to his natural. We just see he got. Oh, he's got two on there. It looks like. Okay, they're trying to run around, but maybe you could kill the queen, but don't attack that. What are you doing? Or maybe he's just harassing and running on him. To try to get him, to provoke him to move the queen away, because I don't, I don't know what he's doing. Just guessing. So, um. Okay, yeah, here. Ooh, Roach's knife. He's got his. That's the right counter. That's a good counter. Roaches freaking eat zerglings. They kill him. They don't eat him, you, you know what I mean. Oh, it's 4 versus 4, I think it wins. So. Probably, like, probably blue, I'm guessing. Oh no. I was thinking blue because maybe he had a one shot. And... Nope. So cockroaches are obviously better. I mean, better versus zerglings than other zerglings. But banalins are really good too, but you know, it seems like it's more of, you know, getting a big hit in or like. It's more of like um, going for a big shot with banalin, kind of like. I, I, I'm tempted to save gambling a little bit because you don't hit all the zerglings, but I guess if you're like good enough, you're not really gambling, you're just using skill. But to me, I think like it's, it seems like for me, like when I'm making banalins in my games, banalins, um, yeah, it seems like it could either go either way, it could either go really well or go really wrong. They prom, but these ones promise to do well, I guess. Ooh, he's 3 and one over here. Oh, what's he doing? Don't run, don't run, run into the conferences. See, he lost the freaking guys right there. Unnecessarily. I mean, not unnecessarily freaking... Yeah, unnecessarily. Didn't need to freaking lose him. Oh, these Zerklings, why does he only suit, do, why doesn't he collect a little bit more and get like 10 instead of 3, 4, run into the cockroaches? But he's expanding, his his macro is not too bad in red. But his micro, he seems like, he seems impatient, like you're, I see a lot of different person, gaming personalities where, um, you just, people just attack, attack, attack like a freaking, like a, like bull rush, like a, like a freaking, like an angry cow or an angry bull or something, you know what I mean? Cows don't get angry, only bulls do. I think. So anyway, yeah, overload here. Yeah, that that's dangerous for the overload, I think. The queen could walk up to him, and the creep's almost dead there. She, as soon as the creep goes a little farther, she could run up and get the overload. Oh, he he can't see that he needs a um, detection to see this creepy thing. The creeper, whatever you want to call it. And this is um, Wings of Liberty, by the way. Yo, Kago just got him outnumbered really bad. Red better do something, he's gonna lose. He's gonna talk about Oh, Red's gotta talk about this too, so yeah. There we are. Gotta come with Banalins too. He's got a random zergling here, it's just probably it's just a um, scout. Oh, but he could see because the creep, you could see everything on the creep. So he's definitely see that. So like boom boom. Spawning more. He's getting mass, he's going on looks like looks like blue's going mass cockroaches. Red is, you know, he's Starting to pile them up too. Let's see who's got more stuff. Blue has more. One six two, but he has. Oh, it's perfectly even. Oh, it's perfectly almost even. This is nice. Oh, let's see the unit composition. Roaches. Yeah, it looks like a roach war. 
But um, blues, like, yeah, red's getting this kid going, but it looks like blue has a little bit more creep just by watching. I see it. it just, red goes out a little bit, but blues goes out way more. They're blowing up the rocks to go for another. Man, he should blow up, should have blown up these rocks right here and, and got the gold. The Richmond Lowers. Okay, Rush Rock. Oh, Red's got more now. I thought Blue had. Oh, no, wait. Here we go. I don't know who has more now. It looks like Red has a little bit. Oh, whoa. No, it looks like um Blue has like just one more. So it's pretty, pretty, basically pretty, pretty even, but he has a couple of circles. So it'll be pretty even. Red could win if he has better um unit control, better positioning, whatever. Fight him, man. Oh, he's trying to bring him back there so his queen can help. The queen tried to, um, the health. Oh, she doesn't have enough transfusion health. So nice. But he, he has, um, a little bit of better formation, I think. Because he spread out more and more heads in the front. And blue, even red has a couple in the back. See that this one, this one that's not hidden. Oh, and the, oh, he's trying to stack that. He's using fodder. So blue had a little bit better, but now red's getting out of the hand a little bit, but I mean, this is a good one. Get him, red. Come on, red. Oh, red, you look at red win, but blue kind of reinforcing, he's got a little good one. He has him away from it. Ooh, red, red's like doing good micro, and uh, good unit control. Oh, he's sending in more, um, guys to his base, so they fire at him. But he's firing, firing, firing. But he's trying to work, he's going to get low on, low on money though. He has no money, but... Oh, what the hell? Oh, this still looks kind of like pretty much even. Then, then, don't lose that. Put this one in the ground. Uh, I like to put it in the ground to regenerate when you get low health. But the queen went right up there to get a downhill advantage. Okay, but what just happened? It looks like red... Who was winning initially, but red used some fodder to um get the upper hand and do a counter attack. But it's just it's concaves and convexes or just like positioning, you know, it's that's more like a delicate, you know, high level thing. And I would I would heal these guys. Put them two roaches in the back. But he doesn't want to, he just wants to go, go, go. Just freaking wait like freaking thirty seconds and get some full health. I don't know if he has the um the upgrade yet for the the um Regenerate fast upgrade. Tunneling cloth. He has a speed upgrade though. Looks like. I love the tunneling tunneling cloth. I really do. I wonder if what's the next thing they're gonna tech for hydras or does he? Uh, oh, he does have um one of the um a layer right now. And is he blue? Probably. Oh, he's making a layer. Halfway done. Red should. Uh, Red, you should go on the ground. Does he have a um? Oh, he doesn't have the um burrow upgrade. That's that's why. Duh. I always make a burrow upgrade in the second um hatchery. That's what I always do. Cause I use the first hatchery for either like doing other stuff, and then I use the second hatchery for upgrading the burrow. And you could even do um these two upgrades, the uh, overload upgrades. I try to. I try to like stick up and like kind of like meta bag stuff like the level ones. They seem pretty sweet. But, um, yeah, it'd be a good idea to get like a couple hydras to kill us all of us, maybe. But Roger's got more HP than hydras. Looks like they stopped fighting for about a minute. And the creep should regenerate roaches a little bit. Not too much faster, but roaches regenerate fast even without it going underground. I know that one of the fastest regenerators in the game. Mutilus regenerate a little bit pretty fast too, but they got 145 HP compared to 35 for Zerblins. So they could take they could take a beating. And then you got, and you still guys, yo, if, you, if I don't want to make it go for a rich middle field, because it's in the center of the match, but I want to make sure this is dependent, so I definitely get these rich middle fields with these gold trees, they look like gold.
Oh, blue's ahead now. Wow. That's probably why. He can't tell that though. He doesn't know that. Oh, here comes a big battle. More Chidra battle. And I think I'm having um a couple um juggling and their mix is good. It's like fire. They do damage, but they absorb a lot of bullets. It just seems like it's um a little bit better. And the cheap too. Fifty minerals. Promise. Oh, nice investors. This is my favorite. They're cool. they're really cool, aren't they? Oh, they're I gotta watch what these juggling you know, uh, Ban oh, turn turn the banalin. I don't even think he needs banalins in it. Oh, maybe actually, you know, it, it color. You got the cockroaches ball together. Is did he? But he's have a speed upgrade on the banalin nest. No. I think it's better to get a speed upgrade because you do more damage. I mean, you, you get you getting better hits. You're like you're not gonna miss it. Oh, he doesn't have any upgrades. Does blue have upgrades? One one upgrades. Oh my god. Who's gonna win because he has more upgrade? Oh, he has one armor upgrade. That's better than zero zero. See, let's watch his evolution chamber and see. Yeah, he, oh, he's about to be even one one. Never mind. See his evolution chamber. I screwed. Yeah, whatever. Yes, so one 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 one. Good. Red got it just in time. Oh no! Wait, wait. Got a two zero. What am I talking about? Oh, anyway, let's go at it. Oh nice! Oh my God! He destroyed him with that punk of Oh my God! That was excellent. And he did damage and three of them. Something red's gonna win after that punk of blood. He was out. Ooh. He got him again with the front of the world. And even the conversation was about Eagle, like, the fest was really odd. And the fest is really odd, a key part of the strategy. Oh, Red Cow Blue, he, he got, um, he got about, like, 30, almost 40 more. 38, 39, 40 more. Fest is really awesome. Is that gonna win him the game? It seems like the energy recharges a little bit slow, and you need how much? You need 75 for a damn fungal growth. So they're gonna have to. Whoa, whoa, okay, oh, I'll number right here. But he breaks in half. Mistake. He probably selected half and then select them all, or just like didn't make up his mind right away. Oh, here we go. And the fasters are gonna screw him all with fungal growth. Oh man, that is that is brutal. That is brutal. So he got a 75 in any of them? 73 right here. He's probably clicking, clicking, clicking. Okay, he's got 75 now. 76. Funk is broken. And he's probably got so out of number that he's just probably waiting for another hash to save the Funk of He doesn't really need it. Ooh. Ooh, there you go. I don't know why he doesn't burr and re regenerate. Look at Look at some of these roaches that got low health. Look at that. Correct. Wait a freaking minute, but he probably went in so he's probably trying to keep his momentum in. So maybe he knows more than I do. Probably knows more than I do, I don't know. I know. Ooh. These, are, these things, these infestors, they're just like wicked. The good versus every team. Then they screw up Terran too, just like other Zergs. Ooh, here comes the queen, the queen. Yeah, he's got a fungal book. Oh, wow. Fungal book. Good game. Fungal growth the freaking living pants up him. So let's go back for a minute. Okay, so let's look, look right here. 163 versus 163, and this is the main battle, right? The difference is, in the unit composition, let's pause it for a second. Oh, he's got most of his army here. A lit, some are a little bit late, right? And red, yeah, red does have more of his army here, but the difference is, in unit composition, is these investors. So it's going to be 163 versus 165. So, it should, so he should break even, but I mean, red does have the advantage that he's fighting in his own base. Rather than fighting in his, in, in blue's base, because, you know, you, it takes some, so many units have to, like, 
get over there and you're gonna have just a couple more. It's like in any RTS game, not just this one. So watch how much the um Funko Bros does. All these units. Funko Bros. Like all the units have Funko Bros on. It did so much damage. Even though it's like wait, and now I pause it, right in mid action because you already seen the game. Whoa, there's a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, even if they were there, even if they would have had the seven extra units, you wouldn't have lost 30, 30 extra. So, one to go. Oh, look, and he's got him out. He's got him spread out really well right there. So the Funko Bros, um, the part of the head group more with the Funko Bros. And not all the, not all the roaches, most of the roaches at least, are there. Some got there a little bit late. He already has, um, 20, <coughs> 24 ahead. So there's gonna be 24 ahead. Now let's see. Oh, they got spine color too, and then he's just running. Yeah, so that's basically like, so 24 ahead, let's see what happens, like, let's count it every day, as the front of the got enough for front of the no. But now he's just retreating. So 24, now he's got 28 ahead, so that's what happened, the front of growth got him, and, uh, and let that be a lesson to you, the, the fear of the front of growth, seriously. I think it's better than the other two abilities of, of, like, new, new Parasite and Infested Terran. In my opinion, I think it's the best. Probably is the best, but there you go. And these are good for fodder, but that's the power of fungal growth. 